hey guys, Premier Pro Tutorial here, and um, today we're going to be taking a look at um, color correcting and also um, color grading. Um, now, there's a big difference. Um, so I'm going to stop saying um now because I know what I'm going to say, so I don't need to say um. um so, um, right. The difference between color correcting and color grading is color correcting is adjusting the. Um, false colors um oh I still keep on saying um basically bringing the image to life and correcting any problems uh, any incorrect colors and also adjusting brightness etc etc color grading is where you give the footage a completely new feel um feel to it so for instance you might want the shot to be like quite blue to um simulate um, the coldness or quite make it unrealistically red to simulate the heat um, so first of all we're going to look at um, color grading and um, color color correcting if we have a look at this clip it's a pretty basic shot um, which looks a little bit dull if I'm honest with you so we're going to set a um, in point that's the key I to do that and an out point here O. Oh. Now we can just drag that into our timeline. Only a short clip. Gonna hit equals to zoom in. And to correct the footage, I'm just going to use one effect. I'm just going to use the um, color corrector three way. In fact, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to use the fast color corrector. Then we go to our effects controls, fast color corrector. And we've got a few options here. We don't need to see this timeline, so we can check this arrow here. It's going to give us a nice, cool-looking uh, spin wheel and some options. Now, first of all, our input levels. And the way this works is everything here is perfectly white. Everything down here is perfectly black. And then we've got our scale from black to white. And basically, our input means everything beyond our white marker will be pure white and everything beyond our and uh, below our black marker will be pure black for instance if I were to bring the black marker completely in anything that is originally um, between pure black and this shade of grey will now be output as pure black um, it works there we can move the other one um, for instance anything that's uh, pure black will be outputted as grey which will give like an increased brightness but awful effect but you don't really want to mess with the bottom ones you only really want to change the top ones because you never want to change what black and white actually are so let's bring in our blacks a bit what you can actually do is um, sample a black um, I'm going to change it to highest quality so I can see what I'm working with um, check what we know should be pure black for instance, this bit of the hoodie is black. Um, now, obviously, her hair is a little bit blown out, so we might want to manually adjust it a bit. Just like that. And pure white. Uh, this thing over here looks pure white. However, I have a feeling that's too white. Um, yeah, for instance, that is pure white, but we want to capture some other sides as well. So there you go. Um, that looks a bit good. And... If we mess around with the grace, works out if the image is too dark or or not. Um, yeah, it's not looking bad. Like that. Um, Premiere Pro never really plays back very well on my computer. We also have um, co um, numbers to adjust the values as well if you don't like using this diagram. Saturation. Uh, speaks for itself that adjusts the adjust the saturation if you go for more of a filmic look they often have it slightly more desaturated um, however you might want to boost the saturation just to work out where the color imbalance is for instance I've boosted it here and you can see there's an awful lot of reds popping out so what you want to do look where the reds are which is over here and bring our pointer down in the opposite direction so we're going to bring it sort of around here like that and then bring our saturation back down and as you can see that's much healthier looking footage um, if we just shut off the effect and see what we started with see that's much, very washed out, very boring looking footage 
much better. You can actually use this footage. Um, now color grading. Um, if we have a look, we've got a very unusable clip. Why is this unusable? Well, look at it. Look how, look how eye-popping that yellow is. The blood just looks fake. Um, I mean, blood actually... Um, fake blood is very good. Most people, when they see fake blood, they think, oh, that doesn't look very realistic. Actually, it does. That That is what blood looks like. Um, it's just, it's also, it's very heightened in film. So we're going to do what we always do, and just copy the films. So let's um, grab our clip. I'm going to trim off the beginning bit. Because, wait, in fact, I'll go hit the minus key to zoom out. We don't want a very long bit of footage. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Anyone watch Phone Jackers, let me know. Um, Terry Tips. I can't do the voice. Um, so, we're going to, just to start with, just use the fast color corrector. Come into our fast color corrector. And to grade it, but basically everything needs to be a bit heightened. So the whites need to be pretty blown out. And they're going to look um, ridiculous to begin with. Uh, for instance, that does look OTT, but if we bring in the darks a bit, crush some of the blacks, and just this high um, contrast is good. But the reason this is so much better than the contrast is contrast literally just brings in the white and the black. Um, so the control over the greys is very, very useful. Okay, so bring down the saturation because this yellow shirt is just far too yellow. Um, that's a bit too desaturated. Uh, 58 seems to be looking good. And we just really kind of, what you want is, um, in fact, um, is just to colour it a bit. And as you can see very quickly, we've created a much more filmic look. Um, if you actually want the filmic look, um, what you want to add, I keep on saying um, I'm in a bit of an um mood. Um, add some grain. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Noise. Um, now, in After Effects, if you're adding grain, it's going to take forever to render. Just add noise and make sure it's monochromatic. So um, that means check the thing that says use color noise, make sure that's unchecked, and then bring up the noise. Um, there we go, that looks good. Um, also, just before the noise, add a sharpening. Or is it just called sharpen? Premiere Pro is not my native tongue. Like that. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, the sharpened way too much. Um, and as you can see, if we um, compare that to what we started with. Okay, right, so you can see this is far better than all. Uh, what's this all about, you know? Oh, this looks like something out of Disneyland. It's so colourful. I, I despise the colour. Um, whereas let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, that's just, that looks pretty gory. You might even want to bring down the saturation a bit. Um, if you're color grading, you may want to add the three-way color corrector. Um, this this is obviously very basic what I'm doing. Color three-way color corrector. Throw in that. Turn off our um, fast color corrector. And basically. This is going to show us, give us some options. Go to master, and that turns it back into a simple color corrector. Um, but we've got control over our shadows, and basically shadows you don't really want to mess with too much. You might want to give them a bit of blue, um, but you don't want to mess with the sliders on anything apart from on the master. That's because otherwise you're just messing with the values of the shadows. So go to master. It's where you want to do all your basic stuff. And kind of just replicate what we just did a second ago. Like that. Bring down the saturation. Beautiful, beautiful. Then come to the highlights, and the highlights is where you want to be colouring. 
um, mainly because what shows up as white is pretty important. So we change this. There you go. Control the move this. This is your um, mid tones, and this is your dark color. Bring down the saturation again. Okay, so very quickly we've created a nice looking fill. In fact, this has become a bit more. I might even set this as um, I don't know what to call this tutorial, but anyway, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. You can't rate anymore, so like, comment, subscribe. Um, recommend me to his friend, and I'll see you guys soon.